the Leo and Danny show. I was telling him, like, yeah, look, have some fun, do whatever you want. Gets in the car, eats a giant bar of mushrooms. First thing he does. What are these mushroom bars that are coming around? Because my girlfriend just had one of these too. Mm. I'm hearing mud flap was chomping down on him. Where could one buy a chocolate mushroom Austin bar? Austin would know. The only person I, I, Jacob had a chick over and her brother sold them. That's the only way I, that's the only way I've ever seen him out in the real world. But you'll have like, uh, oh shit, my camera. You'll have these dispensaries where they're kind of under the table. You pay only cash. They'll like not have an ATM, uh, and you don't pay taxes or whatever. And eventually, they usually get busted and mm. thrown out. And those kind of dispensaries will be like, "Hey, we have like a secret menu, like wink, wink." And that, that and then they'll sell these mushroom chocolate bars for like micro dosing. Like you can eat the whole bar and like trip balls, or mm. you can like just take off one little square as like a micro dose. And he gave me three. So I wasn't like pretty, having crazy visuals, but I was definitely like high as fuck on the mushroom. Austin's eyes never get red, but on this trip, not only were they red, he, his pupils were dilated. So let me break this down because my understanding is mushroom. My understanding of mushrooms as a guy who's never had them is that an eighth is the gold standard. You eat an eighth, it's a little scary. You might have a bad trip, but you're actually going to be seeing shit. And if you do anything less than an eighth, you're not risking the fear and the bad trip, but you're also not high on shrooms. You might just feel a little giggly and you might see colors a little bit differently. You got to get to an eighth. At what point into the chocolate bar, a quarter, a half, the whole thing is an eighth? Uh, I an would... eighth of what? I don't know, by the way. Is it an eighth of an ounce? Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter. It has, it's, it's an eighth, eighth of an ounce. ounce. Eighth of an ounce. It would be like maybe four to five of those squares. Because I had three. How many squares are in the bar? Uh, maybe like four by. You are eight. fried right now. So you are more high than usual. Four by eight, so a good amount. Yeah, like a decent amount. So de well, I mean, it's a. I had to calculate how many squares of chocolate. How many Give me eighths break. per bar, asshole? How many eighths per bar? Maybe. Uh, Three. Three eights per this guy. Maybe not even. This Maybe just two. This guy Does that make sense mathematically? I'm not sure. Wouldn't th there be eight eighths per bar? Because that would be a full uh, no. three eighths per oh, bar well. is easy for me to wrap my head around. Three is a workable <laughs> number.